Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley Lanise and I share tips on motivation, spirituality, blending the two together so you can get the best benefit out of it. This week's video is on the flow state and how you can utilize the flow state to work towards your purpose. Let's get started. So what is this flow state and why do we care so much about it? Well, the flow state was coined by Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi, who was a Hungarian American psychologist. The flow state was around before that, of course. If you look into the Tao, the whole concept of the Tao is actually the flow state. And the flow state is a concept in positive psychology, and it is also referred to as being in the zone. When you are in the state of flow, you are fully immersed in the activity that you are doing and time actually gets away from you. One way to know you're in the flow state is you sat down to do whatever task you wanted to do, but time passed quickly. You look at your watch and you're like, oh my goodness, how did that much time get away from me? Because you were just fully into what you were doing. You were in it, you were there, you were in that process. Aaron Dottie actually talks about the flow state a lot. And when he would talk about the flow state, I thought he just meant this saying like, oh, a state of flow, trying to be spiritual. And you know, I love Aaron, but I didn't realize until I read the book, Atomic Habits, that the flow state is an actual state that researchers have shown changes the patterns in your brain. When you finally tap into the flow state, it creates neurochemical changes in the brain. That neurochemical change releases five neurochemicals and those five neurochemicals are one, performance enhancing neurochemicals, and two, they are those addictive feel good chemicals in the brain that create this cyclical loop that makes you want to get in flow state constantly. They make you perform quicker, stronger, faster, and better with little to no effort. When you are in a state of flow, you process things faster. Things start to link up more pattern recognition becomes more prominent and that's pattern recognition in patterns that actually make sense to link up and then those complex pattern recognitions that you maybe wouldn't think go together but you see it because what happens in flow state is learning elevates it's easier for you to learn and pick things up when you are in a state of flow but more importantly what flow state does to your motivation and creativity is how you utilize it to get your purpose. Flow state is the most addictive state, according to research, to be in. So in this video, I am going to tell you exactly how you can tap into this flow state so that by the end of this video, you can embark on that process and add it towards your purpose. Tip number one is do something that you love. Flow state is easier to obtain when you're doing an activity that you genuinely love doing. So whether that's writing, that's athletics, that's working out, that's drawing, any of that can tap you into the flow state. You know you're in flow when you're loving every single second of the process and internal and external distractions don't pull you out of that flow state. Tip number two is when you are doing this activity, listen to music that doesn't have any lyrics. Something like binomial beats, or there's study music on YouTube, which I will link down below some of my favorites, that are longer periods of time, just sounds, because that will keep you in the habitual nature of staying in flow. The key feature of flow is to eliminate distractions, which is my third tip. So you want to eliminate both internal and external distractions. You can do that by downloading apps that keep you off of your phone. I used to use this one app that would 
keep me from getting on my phone when I was writing my book and I absolutely loved it. I will link it down below in the comments if you guys would be interested in it. It was a gardening app, so you started the app and you got to plant digital trees and see your forest grow for the amount of time that you weren't on the phone. If you don't wanna download an app, you can just put your phone in the other room while you are in flow state because social media, as I'm sure you're aware, is designed to pull you out of the states that you're in and distract you. The way that you eliminate internal distractions is you make sure that you sit down to do this task when you are in a state of clear-mindedness and things aren't stressing you out. And if things are stressing you out, write, vent before you do the hobby, get it all out, fill seven pages and just pour your thoughts out onto the page. And I'm gonna bring this up in another video soon on how to get rid of your negative energy. But just know that before you do the task that you have to commit full focus to, you want to dissipate all of those energies. And then once you do that, going to do that hobby or that task is going to be that much easier. Tip number four is find alignment between challenge and skill. So pick something that you love, but something that you want to get better at. A lot of athletes tap into this flow state. They talk about how they were on the court, dribbling that basketball, and then they were just making shot after shot after shot. And the way that they did that is they actually report drowning out all of the noise because they picked something that they loved what they wanted to get better at. And through the habit of repetition, which is tip number five, finding something you are going to do over and over and over again and repeating a schedule for that, they tapped in to that state of flow. Leading into that next tip, formulate a flow state by picking something that you are going to be like, okay, this is the thing that I'm going to start doing every single day and eventually you will tap into flow. Now I'm going to make a video on writing and how to help writers find passion. And so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to watch some content like that. However, this applies here because the thing that I see that writers do is they hesitate to write their book because they think that they have to wait for that state of passion to come to them. That's not how passion works. Passion and flow are a skill that you have to work towards to create. Passion is something you can find and cultivate and regenerate. So in terms of flow, it's the exact same thing. You want to sit down and practice this skill over and over again. And when you eliminate those distractions, when you do something you love and you have clear and concise goals about how you want to improve, and I've made videos on goals if you'd like to check those out, then you can find that tapping into flow state. For instance, these videos that I'm making, I first started out not really in flow state. I would tap into it sometimes and then tap out of it. But the more that I made the videos, the more that I did the research and got naturally comfortable at it, the more that I would just sit down to record and realize, oh my goodness, 30 minutes has passed by because I've tapped into the art of that flow state. Create a running list of when you feel yourself in that flow state. And a key tip is to stop your task before you are out of flow, before you've been like, oh, I don't really wanna do this anymore. Make sure to end the task still in flow. That way when you go back to doing the task the next day or whenever you have it scheduled, you can get back into flow that much easier. It's kind of like a cycle that you don't want to interrupt. So the cycle's going, 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 it's got all this momentum. But when you feel it kind of slowing down, you never want it to get to a full stop and then you're out of flow. And then you gotta like rev it back up again. Later, when you sit back down to refine that flow state, it's gonna be harder because you're gonna be like, uh, you know, and then you're gonna stop a little and then you're 
flow again. And when you're first starting out, these things are normal. These things are going to happen because it's like building a habit, which I'm so excited. I can't wait to film my videos on habits. I haven't yet, clearly, uh, because I am still doing research. I'm going to come out with a series of videos on habits. I've literally read three books. I'm doing my own personal analysis. So a tip you can use if you're not the kind of person who can find dedication every single day to do something is a concept called habit stacking. And to give you a quick example of habit stacking, because I will bring it up in another video, the way that I started to get into a flow state with my writing is in the spring when I was still going to college and I wanted to find the time to also write and work on my book, I read the book Atomic Habits and what they said to do was a concept called habit stacking where pick a habit you already do. So every single day I would check my schoolwork. That's a habit I always did. And then what you wanna do is you wanna stack a habit on top of that habit you already do because this habit is already a habit that you do naturally, which is processed different than a new habit. So you utilize this repetitive behavior and you take this, okay, every day I check my schoolwork. I log in and I check my schoolwork. Then what you do is you find a specific new habit that goes on top of this already old habit. It makes sense if I explain it by example. After I clicked X on the web page of my schoolwork, I would pull up my book document and leave it on my computer. Even if I went downstairs for a snack because I just got done with my schoolwork, that's actually the perfect time to do it at the end of one of your already pre-existing habits. Because when it comes to habits, it's we need things that are flashy and eye-catching. So when I came back upstairs to sit back down at my computer, my book was already up and open. The law of least resistance is something you can utilize which states that we want to do the thing that is the easiest. Our brains go towards the easiest thing to do. So when you make it attached to something you already do, that's easy, just like opening up my schoolwork, then directly after, open up my document to work on, leave, take a shower, work out, whatever, come back, and it's right there. It's just easy to start Okay, I'm gonna start typing away at my book. So that is all I'm gonna say about how to formulate habits until I produce those videos. But just know that tapping into a flow state is something that is naturally in your heart and closer to reach than you realize. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way until the end. You are a rock star. Send this video to someone you think needs to know this. Even if they already kind of know about it, just to prime their brains and get them thinking about that purpose that they want to work on. You are a rock star for watching this video all the way until the end. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.